be encouraged to walk by faith and not by sight. I'm here sitting down in uh, Naples, Florida. I uh, attended a wonderful uh, local church here known as the, I think, Naples uh, Christian Alliance, I believe it's called. Uh, Pastor Jason, wonderful uh, Bible-based, non-denominational church, wonderful people, very warm, beautiful. Um, but to, to know that I was sent there twice, and the second week, which I almost didn't go, I was almost leaving uh, last week, and here I am there for a reason. And to walk by faith and not by sight is to trust in God and lean not on your own understanding. So here I am, staying an extra week, uh, plain, entire trip change and, and everything, but God had a purpose for it. And, and there's this young man, Jim, uh, who I met today, um, uh, uh, first, you know, first generation um, parents came here. Uh, wonderful Spanish-speaking uh, person who wants to learn English, and it came to the church to learn English because he loves Jesus and he wants to speak English. He's like, "This is America. I need to speak English," and I encourage him too about how amazing it is to to know two languages and obviously to know Jesus as his Lord and Savior, most importantly of all. Uh, but the beautiful thing was the encouragement of knowing that he is trying to teach his parents English and they love Jesus. So they go to a Spanish speaking church and he wants to know how to speak with them and be able to teach them the English. It's beautiful. The interaction was great. Pray for Jim um, and his 18 years old, a senior in high school. Um, amazing, amazing person. Great, great um, youth program there. I'll say their, their music was great. Very encouraging to see the youth getting out there and uh, praising the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, it was awesome. So be encouraged if you're in the Naples, Florida area to check out uh, Pastor Jason's church, uh, which is the uh, Naples Christian Alliance, I believe. Uh, I'll post the information down in the description. God bless you guys. Be encouraged to walk by faith and not by sight. Lean not on your own understanding, but everything. Give praise and glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Everything we do has purpose. Every situation that may seem very painful or um, purposeless at the time is if we have faith. And faith is belief in the unseen. And my faith is in Jesus. And I know that he's going to come back for his people. Be encouraged to look up. Redemption draweth nigh. And you don't know. My, my dad just died two and a half weeks ago. We never know. He's 76 years old. We never know when we're going to die. Be encouraged to know that you know who the Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and the sins of the world. See, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I'm no better. I'm probably worse than any, every one of you. But I have a Savior that died once for all. And on the cross, he said, it is finished. Tetelestai. It is finished. The wages of sin, which is death, has been paid once for all by Jesus Christ. Yeshua Yamashiach. To my Jewish brothers and sisters, read Isaiah 53. Read Psalm 22. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for Israel. Pray for peace and safety. Pray that sudden destruction does not come for any of us, but that Jesus comes back in the cloud, calling up his own to, to meet him in the cloud. Look up, redemption, draw up nigh. God bless you. Love your people. Love the world around you. And realize that there's purpose in the pain. Thank you, Pastor Mike Bethune. God bless you.